to Vlogmas day three and today I'm going to be reviewing what I just saw recently How to Your Dragon the Homecoming so sit back and relax and let's get started basically How to Your Dragon franchise is How to Your Dragon Homecoming where we see the uh, hiccup Asher and the two kids and Toothless and the light fair and their offspring celebrate the wonderful Christmas holiday of the Christmas season now, basing off of this in a general retrospect of everything, we are discussing the as I said, the ambiance of the great holiday season. The holiday season reunites Hiccup, Asher, Toothless, and Lightbeard, and all your friends on the Isles of New Birth. In this all new CG animation adventure based on the critically acclaimed Hydrogen Drag trilogy. Basically, they call their festival or their festivities. Sorry, guys. Uh, Snoggle Toss, the best time of the year. It's been 10 years since the dragons moved to the hidden world. Even though Tula doesn't live in Newburgh anymore, he continues the holiday tradition he once shared with his best friend. But the Viking and Newburgh were beginning to forget about their friendship with the dragons. Hiccup, Ash, and Gobber know just what to do to keep the dragons in the village's hearts. And across the sea, the dragons have a plan of their own. So basically, Hiccup tries to instill in the village of Newburgh that their friendship with the dragon is still strong as one before. So they lay out treats to invite their old dragons who were once their partners. They bring them fish and hope Alter bring them back to the um to the island to see them once again. But we have a small little hiccup. Get it? Hiccup because his name's Hiccup and like their children. Mostly takes after one of each parent. Usually it depends. But um with the new generation they might have more of a easier way of convincing than the rest of the people um especially hiccup's daughter um <laughs> she finds his grandfather's um journal and diaries of how dragons be monsters and things like that so it just doesn't go as he originally planned but they create this new snoggle top pageant to do a create a new story about dragons how dragons were once their friends and then the toothless here, he draws a picture of Hiccup to his own offspring of Nightlight. These cute little things here about how Hiccup was his friend and how his one of his draglings, I guess you call them, has the great idea of trying to reunite his dad and his partner once together. And that's the whole concept of the movie. Now, basically, you're trying to figure out each of the. If you've seen High Trade Dragon, I'm sure you know what. Um, the night lights look like there are these adorable little creatures look how cute they are one of them takes over the complete patterns of the mother of the light fear and the rest take over the the, the I guess more of the patterns of like of toothless in a sense they're very cute little things cute little dragons they're adorable to say the least um the Nightlands are offspring of Toothless and Light Fear. They live in the hidden world and share a similar ability to their parents. Like the parents, Nightlights have powerful phantom blasts and they use the first blast to warn and only the second attack to openly attack when threatened. And normally they uh, they hid in, the, in their environments um, in like clouds and stuff. And that was like the base color of their eggs. Similar to the light eggs we saw in the first couple of movies, the second or third movie of the how you train your dragon. Um, the nightlights are capable of fire, explosive plasma, best similar to the parents. Nightlight and light fears are similar amount of control and timing of their plasma plasma explosion. They do cloaking, they hide in um, fog, clouds, and they are trying on to, to blend in. They have super fast ability. They're the fastest dragon known in the How Train Your Dragon universe. And we've seen their strength enough to carry each other their kai on their back, so that's one inching combined hybrid of the, the nightlights, but there are they are really cute. Like they are adorable. And like speaking of the parents, you got not mention at least the lovely light fear. Look how pretty she is, guys. She is visually stunning. And then we have Toothless. He is my favorite. He's a funny character because he tries to be a good dad and a good alpha to the rest of his pack, and he tries his best because he's. When you first introduced him in the first movie, he has a lot to take in, but he means well. He's very childlike, especially when he has to, like, find his mate. He's, like, trying to be funny and silly, and I'm just like, okay, Toothless, you're trying just a little bit too hard. Just a little bit. But overall, it's one of his blasts that he uses in one of the films. Um, here's a close-up. That's the close-up raise of that. 
discussion of the of his little blast. But overall, I thought I would come on here to discuss Vlogmas Day Three and do a little review of the Night Fury holiday movie. I hope you enjoyed this little introduction of it. I hope you are having a wonderful holiday, and I hope y'all enjoying this. Also, if you missed the premiere of this, they will show encore presentation December 14th on NBC at 8 o'clock for the encore presentation of DreamWorks High Trading Dragon Homecoming. So if you missed the first episode, don't worry. There will be another encore presentation on December 14th in case you missed it. But other than that, I hope you have a great day and hope you enjoyed my vlogs from day three and I'll see y'all real soon. Until then, bye.